Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Frank Walters here. I'm the watercolour tutor at Q Art Studio in West London. I recently did this watercolour of the Titanic uh, going out on its fateful first and last voyage across the Atlantic, being towed out with a couple of tugs. I purposely made the Titanic, albeit a massive ship, fairly small in this composition. Um, I wanted to dwarf it a little bit with the big sky. And um, it's had some pretty good reviews. This painting, it's, it's sort of it's, it's evocative of what happened. And uh, I thought, you know what, I'd like to try a larger scale if I can. This is uh, the size of this is a quarter imperial, and I thought, you know what, why not try and paint this in um, in a full imperial sheet of paper? So, without further ado, here it is. I've already mounted this up with extra wide masking tape um, and again I've got the same the same idea the boats about here and in, in just off center is going out this way out of shot and this is um, uh, 140 pounds Saunders Waterford um, uh, cold press paper um, hasn't been stretched or anything, it's thick enough, and this is a fairly big sheet. Uh, but I want to give this a go. Now, how am I gonna how am I gonna paint this? Um, you know, I've got my usual wash brush, but how am I gonna cover all this area with these tiny little tiny little colours? How does this work? Well, I'll tell you how it works. First of all, I'm gonna wet the paper with that. Secondly, I'm only gonna use three colours. I'm going to use Van Dyke Brown, sometimes known as sepia, indigo, and raw sienna, one of my favourite colours of all time. Uh, why am I using those? Well, for a start, we have the nice yellow, which adds the warmth, and raw sienna blends beautifully, much better than yellow ochre. Um, I also want the sun setting, so very much a, a sun colour. Indigo is the blue element, um, which is really important. I wanted a dark blue. I don't want a vivid, shiny blue. I want something which is a little bit somber. And uh, and with that, I want dark uh, Van Dyke brown, which is um, a warm earth color. So I reckon those three could work really well. And the brush I'm going to use is this old thing. Um, I've had this maybe 50 years. Uh, a long, long time when I was at art college. It's an old um, Japanese brush. It's absolutely fantastic. Hog hair. Um, it's, it's it says hog. It's probably goat hair. Actually, this is goat hair. Um, this is my hog hair. And um, again, I've used these many, many years ago. And this is Chinese. And um, looking forward to, to doing this so anyway you're with me and we're going to do this right now so let's get some of these colors going or sienna i hope that's enough i can always come back um put the blue over there indigo very dark blue i'm not even sure i got enough color in this bowl you know and there's a van dyke brown okay as I say, this is an experiment. If you're watching this by film, it means that it, it probably worked, which is a, a good sound. Right, let's put this over here for a minute. Let's get some water. Oh, I can hardly get this brush in the water pot. Right, let's get this going. Coming down to the horizon. Just paint around that boat slightly, around the Titanic. I'll come back for the water in a minute. I only want to do one thing at a time, otherwise it, uh, it might not work. As I say, this is very much an experiment for me, working this big, working with only two colours for the sky. I'm going to start with the raw, the raw sienna. Let's 
get that in there. Is it around the boat? I'm going to paint the boat afterwards. That's what I intend to do, paint the boat afterwards. I'm going to get some raw sienna here. Loads of raw sienna up here. Coming down. Need a bit of white here and there. Right, okay, now the blue. Well, wow, that's strong. That's strong. As I say, not used to working quite this uh, big, but let's see what's. Whoa! here I'll leave some of this whoops the splashes them I'm not sure what they're gonna do but anyway Lifting out a little bit, hither and yon, as they say. Right. Get some. I'm going to lift some of that out. It's the thirsty brush. funky looking don't know how this is all going to work at all but anyway I'll just get some of that coming around here a little bit of puddling going on there to lift just a little bit but I don't know whether this is strong enough yeah some clouds going a bit of, bit of a hair there using a tissue look I'm wiping I'm thirsty brush trying to see it's beginning to dry now on there but a clean water always have two water pots if you can but I'm on much bigger scale here right don't want too many tide marks got to be careful now as it's starting to dry not too bad again it's some nice wet and wet here and there so let's lift that out Okay, that's nice. That's good. I'm now going to get some water going. Oops. Careless. Get some water down here now. Fresh water. Wow. Well, I'm glad I'm sharing this with you. That's all I can say.
Right. Let's have a look. Get some of that. Hello? Sienna. Through here, and coming back to that. some of this working and getting down down here it's wonderful wonderful Lovely colours going on here, and then pushing through. Just hoping this works. Getting some nice effects going on here. couple of little splashes while well, it's still wet though I want to get some of that um, I want to get some smoke from the chimneys that are running across there I think I might be able to do it now let's have a, let's have a look yes could do It's nice. Try a little bit more here. See. Right, welcome back for phase two. Um, bit sunny out there. We're now on day two and the sun's shining, so I've had to put the blinds down. So it's ended up looking a little bit warmer than it really is, but I hope we can cope with that. Um, overnight, I put it on its side and unfortunately I had a couple of back runs, one here and one here. You know what, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Those things happen. In fact, it might even add to the effect, who knows. Um, Okay, it's now time for a bit more detail. You can see I've penciled in uh, the vessels. Um, I use this old black and white shot as reference. This is what I'm following. I more, more or less follow this, it's about right, but uh, had a few issues, not really 100% sure what the colors were. And for, fortunately online, I actually found this. Looks a, could be hand tinted, you don't know, but it gives me some ideas of the color. Also, it tells me that those masks are very much brown, and also the ensign is blue. Um, the, the funnels, pretty important. They're a sort of browny orangey colour, and I'm wondering whether the tugs are the same. Uh, I'm not really sure. We thought the tugs were red uh, on the funnels, but anyway. Certainly red along the waterline on the Titanic, if I can maybe get a little bit of that in there as well. Um, I'm going to try and make sure I'm using this Kalinsky Sable number eight uh, to do the fine detail work. What I've got to be careful about 
is really not getting too tight, you know, too fiddly, tongue out the side of the mouth, you know, going up to the edge, all that. It's going to look a bit amateurish if I do that. So I've got to keep it a little bit accurate, but, but strangely loose. Uh, it's got to fit in with the rest of the painting. Uh, the only other bits, there's a headland that runs across here. You can just see it there. There's a headland. It comes across here. And then at the end, I have to consider the water. What do we do? I think we're looking at some glazers coming across, maybe a bit of dry brush. Um, something that befits this painting. It's coming down through here. Obviously, I've painted this a lot darker than it appears here, but hey, you know, it's uh, don't be a slave to what you see. Be the master of what you want. That's why I always say you're not a, you're not a camera faithfully reproducing every line and every... Well, some people do that. I don't. I'm more of an impressionist, and it's down to your own take on this scene. So be free to do what you really want to do. That's really important. Right, and that's um, that's about it. Um, so I've got the brown mass in. I've painted this as sort of loosely or as tightly as I can. Um, I don't want it overdone. Uh, that back run over here, I put a bit of red on there, and I sort of indicated a bit of a sunset, as it were. Whether that works or not, I don't know. It's a happy accident. Or it might even be unhappy, who knows, at the end of the day. Um, I've just used the um, the indigo wash here at the end and just really trailing marks. I, I found that quite dramatic, having this angle coming out. So it's almost like speed lines, as it were, with the Titanic and the tugs going off into the sunset, into the distance. So there we are. And finally, here's a true representation of the colours of this particular painting. I hope you found it interesting, and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I hope you can join me on one of my weekly Zoom virtual watercolours. Uh, you can book this directly on my website. Take care, and see you soon.